My grief turned to shock when I learned my recently deceased wife's skull matched the DNA profile for a teen missing since 1987. The rest of her bones matched to six other people on the missing persons list from that same time period. After seeing a homeless man eating from the trash, I offered him to come home with me. Now I don't need to take the trash out, he eats it. Finding myself surrounded by zombies and vampires both crawling towards me attracted by the scent of my blood, I thanked our gun laws for the first time as I started shooting them one by one. Totally ruined the Halloween party though. His muscle twitches had continued for over a month before he decided to consult a doctor. As the doctor started to perform an MRI, he backed away from the screen in horror as he realized that his muscles weren't twitching, his skin was crawling. I woke up after having a dream, where I was lying naked on the floor and unable to move after these 8 teenage boys violated my body until I died. I cried hard as I realized that after 20 years, this was the first time that I dreamt and felt all of it from our victim's POV. After my ex-husband dropped off our daughter from her weekend stay, I noticed bruises on her back and stomach. I forgot to cover them up, hopefully he didn't see. The sound of my boyfriend's snores has always been able to put me to sleep. But he's visiting family and I can still hear them. My vision is filled with green grass and then blue sky and then green grass and then blue sky and then green grass and then blue sky. They say a severed head could still be alive for a few seconds after being severed but mine has been rolling down this hill for what seems like an eternity. The whole town laughed when I said I was going to build a zoo. But now all they do is snarl and snap and whine in their cages. I got a call from my very distressed mom, telling me they had found my dad's dead body at his favorite camping spot, torn apart by some sort of wild animal. When I brought the phone away from my ear, my dad, who had stopped by for an unexpected visit, said with a smile from across the table, well, that call seems important. A mandatory evacuation was ordered in preparation for the incoming hurricane, but we ignored the warnings like we had for the last four storms. Heads up and heads off 2020. We realized our mistake, however, when we looked out over the gulf and the horizon started slowly rising above the moon in the sky. I watched from afar, holding my daughter's hand, as the tiny coffin was lowered into the grave. Once the funeral was over and everyone had left, I snuck over and gently placed her tiny hand on top of the dirt, completing her. I loved my job of finding missing kids. Until I saw my baby photo. The detective gripped the rail of the crib and sighed in frustration, knowing that if they didn't find the baby soon, they likely never would. As he turned to walk out of the baby's room, the doll on the dresser suddenly slumped over and began to seep blood from the now visible stitches on its neck. I sigh deeply as my daughter wakes me again to tell me about the monster under her bed. I had prayed this would stop after her killer was executed. I became a vegetarian at a very young age because my parents who are a doctor and a nurse, stated that the food we eat plays a vital role in our health. Every week, my parents would bring home an unconscious patient claiming that they're in a vegetative state and ready to be harvested. They always say it's difficult to raise a child. But with a strong branch, some good rope, and a hearty pull, it's quite easy. I have finally learned to access people's deepest fears through their dreams. See you soon. Looking at the stars, I contemplated how beautiful, yet vast and lonely it seems out there. It's lonely inside the escape pod too, listening to the buzz of my distress signal and wondering if anyone will hear it. I found one dead body in the back of my car today, and I called the police. I was mad because there were originally two, and I needed to report a theft. Once I started eating human flesh, I couldn't stop. But there isn't much of me left anymore. It never fazed me to watch animals being eaten alive on National Geographic programs. I cried, remembering how long it took for the prey to die, as the crowd of zombies dug their fingernails into my guts. Every pet I've owned since I was a kid is buried in my backyard. I've moved eight times and they're always there. As I'm wheeled into the ambulance with a limb missing, I can't stop thinking about those idiots who called me salty just minutes before this happened to me. Damn, I hate cannibals. I bought a gun yesterday, and now I finally feel confident that I can protect my girlfriend. She keeps telling me that she never wants to see me again. But now I can finally handle whoever is forcing her to say that. My daughter had a rather impressive collection of stuffed animals from boyfriends over the years. This latest one though. I don't like how its eyes seem to follow me. I've worn a face mask in public my entire life. 
I just love the feeling of skin on skin. It wasn't easy, but I managed to disarm my abusive husband. After putting the chainsaw away, I fed those arms to our dogs. The quiet of the forest was interrupted when the sound the family feared most echoed throughout. The man carefully handed their child to his wife, and when she safely went out of sight, he said a quick prayer and step off the landmine. When I walked into the party, my brother-in-the-law asked me who was behind my mask, but I didn't tell him. Where's your Halloween spirit? I said, which was easier than trying to explain the restraining order. I was horrified as I stared at the hand peeking out from underneath the dirt in my garden. While walking back to the shed to grab my shovel, I made a mental note to dig a little deeper next time. The aliens destroyed our entire world with just a single sentence. We need to talk to the person in charge. After watching some TV, I had to go to the bathroom and when I got back, the channel was changed. I live alone. She thought I was cute. She tried to pet me but I might have bitten her hand off. My friend used to make fun of me for watching Gilligan's Island. But now that we're stranded on this deserted island, they've learned to call me the professor. I really like you. Don't come to school tomorrow. I always wonder why people turn around when they feel that someone is watching them. Why don't they look up? I giggled as I played with my puppet, his eyes wide and shiny. Then, I smiled as the reporter on the news said that they have given up the search. Please like and subscribe, and tap the notification bell icon below to get notified of more Reddit DTS videos. This is Reddit Joe channel. Your everyday Reddit.